All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And of course, thanks for subscribing. We're going to make a run for it. FSD beta 12.3.1, which is the same as some people who are on, who are on the uh, 2024 branch of 12.3.2.1. And we're going to give New York City a try. Very confident, very high on FSD beta version 12 right now. What it's done, what it's been doing. Very confidence inspiring, very usable in its current state. Um, obviously, there's still some proximity issues with turning. It still has some issues being a little bit indecisive at times for lane selection, but we're going to give it a shot in NYC and see what it does. Right now, the speed limit is not the correct speed limit that it's registering right now, and I've gotten us a little bit closer so we don't waste too much time getting there. Um, so we're about 18 minute trip now and someone's hot on my heels because I'm driving too slow. I'll give it some accelerator, nothing, scroll wheels, nothing. People will just have to pass around us but it is what it is. Uh, it's registering a 25 mile an hour speed limit here, which is not the case. And it's going 37, still not fast enough. I think it's about 45 to 50 in this particular uh, road that we're on right now. So people are passing us pretty, uh, pretty fast here, but it's okay. It's a little bit of a lighter day in terms of traffic, which hopes, which I hope bodes well for the tunnel. Okay, so we're taking it into the city, gonna see what it does being very eager to take over if it gets too close, specifically in close proximity to the tunnel and construction and debris, et cetera, and go from there. All right, um, I'm not expecting a lot. I'm not expecting it to be able to handle bus lanes and all that good stuff, but I am expecting it to be able to do the same great things that it's doing here, a little bit waffly here. But I'm not expecting it to do, I'm expecting it to do the great things that it does in um, non-dense city traffic in the city. So we did a little bit of a urban environment the last video. We went downtown to the train station, went further downtown to more traffic, uh, did pretty good there. But let's just see what happens now with uh, New York City. And again, I'm just hoping for the good things to persist and the not so good things to, uh, to not be prevalent. Hoping I can escape with uh, my wheels and tires intact. But we're going to see. Sun is really uh, glaring in the cameras right now, so I'm not sure how that's going to impact anything. But we'll give it a shot. I'm going to actually force this lane change just because a lot of potholes on this side, I'm not too fond of. I have it on the average profile. For FSD, not assertive. I usually drive around in a serve. I've been testing that out. It's been pretty good, but for the sake of uh, you know the city and the aggressive drivers in the city, I'll keep it on average for now. Slowing down aggressively here for the speed limit for some odd reason. Maybe it wants to get off in this exit. Yes, it does. So that's good. So not not an odd slowdown, uh, an appropriate slowdown based on it wanting to make the appropriate lane change. Let's see what happens. Hopefully we don't get caught into too much traffic. Uh, that seems to be uh, the thing that takes the most time and the camera starts to overheat. And as I say that, we get into a little bit of a line here for traffic, which is not great. And the car is slowly getting into position, kind of going around now. Hopefully it knows what it's doing. We have to be in that lane to be able to get over, but both lanes do go over that way. So this might be the car just being a little bit smarter than me and trying to make a maneuver that allows it to cross over this little edge here and then get over into the appropriate lane. So this is a little bit of a deviation, maybe from a traffic perspective, it's a little bit different, meaning that it's supposed to take this upper uh, edge, which is what we took last time, which goes all the way around into the tunnel. This is a little bit of a shortcut when that, that way is pretty much blocked off and has a lot of traffic. A lot of people who go to the tunnel, they use this little shortcut here. Let's see what happens here. Don't cut close, please. Car's turning. We have an opening to get over. We got to get over quick. Ooh, tight, but okay, not uncomfortable. All right, so we got uh, 
Elon wanting everybody to use FSD version 12, trials on delivery, free trials for everybody who's bought, who's bought, who hasn't bought one, which is great. Uh, he's really high on this one. I think you should a little, proceed with a little bit of caution just because there are some issues here, specifically around proximity um, and some of the indecisiveness that uh, could get people in trouble if they're not prepared. I think they should definitely have a little bit of a tutorial and some best practices around the brake pedal uh, as well as obviously hands on the wheel. I'm demonstrating this right now, so my hand is not on the wheel, but on the yoke, I should say, but uh, typically I would drive with my hand on the yoke. But again, for anyone watching, if you got the trial, if you're just testing it out for the first time, you never use it, or if you haven't used it in a while, the brake, you see my foot hovering over here as I wave it down here, if you can see it, that's gonna be your emergency red button in case of an issue. Don't worry about trying to grab the wheel of the yoke, worry about pressing the brake to disengage the system. That's gonna be your, your thing. Strong traffic ahead, autopilot aborted. All right, I guess I can't make this maneuver. I can't re-engage right now. Let's see what happens here. So I guess I can't make this maneuver. I think it said something about strong traffic ahead. I'll post it on the screen later, but uh, I can't re-engage. Let's see what happens. Might have kicked me out. Let's see. Still have five strikes, so I don't think that's the case. I don't know what happened. Maybe just an issue. I can re-engage now, which I will. Go into the toll. So I don't know what happened here. A little bit of an autopilot error. So these things are the things I'm talking about. They come up. Toll boot detected. Very good. Now it has to navigate. I'm gonna give it some accelerator because it doesn't know what to do. It doesn't know how to handle this. It needs to follow the rest of the traffic. Seems to be going straight. Not gonna make this one. No good. So I'm gonna signal over. Um, so it does, doesn't know how to handle this one. This is a very extreme traffic case where the cones want everyone to go extreme left, which is not typical of this uh, traffic, uh, of this tunnel. Let's see if I can re-engage here in the tunnel now. Come on, give us some accelerator. So not off to a great start here, going very slow. Now it's getting up to speed here. Gonna be watching very closely for the proximity to these things and the curb on the, on the left. So basic traffic uh, conditions, it can handle. Complex traffic conditions like this, where it, it you know, requires a very sharp left or right turn to go way over across multiple lanes. Um, it's really not quite ready for. And this, these are the levels of traffic conditions that New York City presents, which is why I'm always hesitant to go. Uh, because again, I feel like they have not done their due diligence here in New York City. They have not set up camp here and like just continually tested the way that they're testing in other areas, testing in Florida with uh, Chuck's unprotected left. Shout out to Chuck. Um, they do that a lot. They have cars down there. They're sending people down there. They're testing it over and over and over again. They should be having cars up here, testing this in and out of this tunnel over and over and over again. This is where the major value in this area is going to be for FSD beta. Soul crushing traffic exists in this commute to and from the city every single day. And here we are on a light traffic day and there's still a bit of traffic. And we're pretty early off in the morning at 943 in the morning, still tons of traffic. So, again, I think, you know, there's some room for improvement here, specifically when it comes to testing and video clips and all that good stuff, training. This is where they should be setting up shop now. If they feel that FSD beta is in a good place with V12, they should really, really consider setting up shop here. So that's that's just my impression. Again, a little too close. You start to see the red arcs here and you can feel that you can see the car shifting over. It's getting a little too close to the left for my taste. Keep your eyes here as it gets closer and closer and then sort of adjust and shifts. So not liking that. Previous versions have been pretty good getting through this tunnel without getting too close. And I also get a poor GPS location accuracy as well for autopilot. So that's another warning. And that typically happens sometimes when you come into this tunnel because we're under however many feet of water right now in this tunnel. Um, and the, the system is saying poor GPS location accuracy, which may be contributing to its drifting towards the lane, but this should be vision only, so it shouldn't matter. I 
Okay, so we're taking a quick trip to Times Square just to make it simple, keep it easy, see what happens, see what it can do, see what it can't do. And again, I'm always eager to take over with my foot over the brake and uh, again, my hand at the ready to jump over and take over the yoke at a moment's notice. But so far, not so good. Uh, not great to start. Again, just certain traffic conditions I think it's not trained on. I think it's a quick fix. I think if they give it the requisite data, the way that they've been feeding data from California, I think this is an easy fix and it can be ready for this type of thing and no problem. I just don't think their, their area of focus right now is New York City. I think they're building up to it, which is what they should not be doing. They should start here, right? Because if you can do this, you can do just about any, any traffic condition in the US. Obviously dirt roads, off-road, those things are the exception, but in terms of urban traffic, any degree of urban traffic, if you start here and create that as the baseline, everything else kind of falls into place. Still have the warning, poor GPS location accuracy. It says autopilot attention may be required. I'm not sure what that means. So do an error the first time it said uh something about traffic totally kicked me out uh, i don't think i got a strike if i can check really quickly let's see i don't know maybe i did maybe i didn't i don't know but um wasn't in my control all right exit in the tunnel make it a little bright for a second and again, it's always different when you come out this tunnel. It's never the same. Which way will the car decide to go? It's gonna go, uh-oh. This person is not paying attention. So that's my bad. So that's his bad, I should say, not my bad. Did not mean to disengage, but that person wasn't paying attention. Lots of sun glare from the sun here. Not sure if the car saw it, if this guy was gonna stop. I'm not sure if he thought the car was gonna stop. I don't know. Lines are crazy. You see it trying to figure out where the lines are, trying to get over. Very, a little undecisive, but it's not as bad as it used to be. It's making this right here. Okay, the sun is at a really interesting angle. This is why I chose this time just to see what it will do. Lots of people, lots of pedestrians registering here on the screen. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't, but there's lots of pedestrians here. And I'm um, just trying to check to see. Yeah, I might've gotten a strike, but it should have caused me to reset. I don't think I got a strike. If I got a strike, I'd have to uh, at least reset or get out and get back in or unbuckle my seatbelt or whatever the case may be push cart in the middle of the street does it recognize it it kind of does and cyclist whoa going down the wrong way it freaked out so fsd beta is getting put to his paces look at this detour right in the middle of the street what's it gonna do goes around it nicely yellow light please stop for pedestrians good job there it does not have enough compute right now i think to render all these people going across the screen it's lighting up like nobody's business and autopilot i mean the, the system is trying to do its best to render all these people the cyclists everything is just a mass is massive amounts of data putting uh fsd beta through its paces testing the computer i'm sure the computer is super hot right now trying to calculate all this but this is uh, very interesting we're trying to visualize it not calculate it visualize it So very interesting traffic conditions. This is the type of unpredictability that New York City has to, has to bear. And again, the ultimate test for FSD beta. We have a green turn uh, arrow. 
Again, I'm keeping very close to the break in case I need to take over because people will cross where the light is green still and they'll get very close. So now uh, sometimes the, the, the system will think they're going to cross and allow them to cross, but on the green light. So that's not a good thing. So it has to be super aggressive here to be able to make this left turn. See this lady sticking out? See that? See? I'm going to give a little bit of accelerator just to give us some confidence to go. And we're turning here. All right. Now we need to get in the right lane so we can make the right going up here on this next street. But this car looks to be turning. Is it going to turn? Probably yes. Is the car going to let it? Let's see. Super stressful. Uh, this is not taking away the stress. It thinks it's going to go. I'll do the thing that the car can't, which is nonverbal communication. All right. Pretty good. All right. So we have now we're going to have a short deadline turn to get across. And instead of staging the lane earlier, it's waiting with these aggressive cabs to try to get over and maybe it's going to ignore the guidance again. I don't know. She'll probably be signaling right now because it's drifting into this lane. Luckily, it's not too bad. Now it's signaling. Get over. Bus lane. So it's not in the bus lane, which is great. So it is, it's a, okay. Spoke too soon. Needs to make this right turn. Pedestrians can cross. Strollers, people, kids, everybody. And now it can go. Little tap of the accelerator to give us some confidence. It's working its way through and it's going. All right. Again, terrible angle for the sun, but a good test for this system overall, just to have the sun at this weird angle. Lots of glare, lots of direct sunlight right into the camera lenses. I know they have protection, I know they have filters, but this is a lot. All right, so it's pulling over now because this is our destination. We basically made it to New York City. I'll disengage here. This is temporary unavailable. I'm going to keep going, actually. Lady, can you please go? There we go. All right, let me get over here. Um, so, yeah, that was basically it. Uh, a little bit rough, kind of on par with what I expected, just because, again, the conditions are never the same every time you come here. You could come here within an hour go out and come back in and the conditions could be different. That's how, you know, varied the conditions are. Okay. So that was a quick trip to New York city. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if you have experience riding, riding or driving FSD beta in the city. Um, and then we'll, we'll revisit it. I'm going to go make another stop, but I'll put that in another video, but until the next time, enjoy your day. Enjoy your Tesla.